Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here and tonight I'm continuing to talk about the best pets from every elemental family. Now this is highly subjective because these are my favorites. Uh, at first it was loosely based off of a Wowhead article um, that talked about the best pets or the notable pets from every family and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But these are mine. so. We're going to start off with Team 1 here, and uh, this pet is basically the same thing. You have the Blossom and Ancient and Brute, and they're very, very similar, except the Blossom and Ancient has an AoE heal with Autumn Breeze, and what these guys are is they're very tanky elementals, uh, especially for both being balanced, balanced breeds. They still have quite a bit of health, um, and they just heal forever. and they have sunlight to increase that healing and they're just super annoying to go against. I do not like using them. I don't use them uh, very often slash ever, but yeah, they're really good pets and I will not deny them that. Now the next pet I want to talk about is this guy right here, the Jade Mist Dancer. Now the Jade Mist Dancer traditionally runs actually kind of runs uh, the the last one depends and so does his first slot but I recommend the speed speed breeze of this guy because he's really fast for an elemental uh, but honestly for a speed speed he's kind of slow but he does have a little bit extra attack he's got 16 extra attack compared to just your basic so a little squishy but fairly fast and he just destroys other en elementals like if you run uh, rain dance, acid rain, and steam vent. Okay, so what you do is you throw out acid rain, you throw out rain dance, and then you just pound people with steam vent. And when you're critting on an attack that can hit up to 400 damage, like the crit adds 50% more damage. So you're hitting for like 600 plus health. And that's on somebody who's not an elemental. On an elemental, you can hit for like 800 damage with this stupid attack. Um, just really really great very fun pet to uh, snag I farmed him forever out on the timeless isles and eventually just bought him off the auction house because after killing 80 gazillion jade mist dancers I was like okay I'm never gonna see this pet so I went and spent 14,000 on one uh, it was worth it I really enjoy him he's good in PvP uh, you can also combine him with uh, pets that run cyclone it's really popular as the clone dance where the pet throws out cyclone you switch into this guy and then you throw out uh, rain dance and acid rain and the cyclone will hit every time and it'll just do a ton of damage to the guys to this whole team now the next pet is basically the same as little ragnaros they're very very similar little ragnaros has uh, an arguably better kit with magma trap and sons of the flame but they both uh, have really really hard hitting attacks. Now Ragnaros, who's bought from the store, has Conflagrate, and it's the hardest hitting Conflagrate in the game, uh, where you throw out Flamethrower, Conflagrate, and, you know, that's, how much is that, 800 damage? Yeah, just about 800 damage from a Conflagrate, which is insane. That's, that's over half of a uh, regular pet's health. Uh, just he's got the highest attack value of anybody in the game, I believe. So... And the Magma Rangeling is pretty similar. He's got a really high attack value, not quite as much as little Ragnaros, but he can run Magma Trap, and then he's got Flame Dread, which is a really cool ability. And, and anyway, it has a 50% chance to ignite the area and just do a ton of extra damage. So this guy's picked up from Ulduar, from the Furnace Master. Uh, he's really cool. I like him. So him and little Ragnaros, those are definitely pets you want to snag uh, from the elemental time. But here's the thing with elementals, man. Going over this list, it is really hard for me to choose um, which of these I would actually run uh, or pick as my favorite just because elementals are so cool. Like, they look awesome. They've got really strong movesets. Honestly, when doing Family Familiar, whenever I come to elemental, it's like, oh, this can be easy just because I know they do so much damage. Uh like this guy right here, okay? The Stormstruck Beaver. This discharge hits for 722 damage. That is an insane one-hit move. Like, 
little Ragnaros who I was just talking about, you have to set up another move in order for him to do that much damage. Most moves that hit that hard have to be combined with something else, but this guy doesn't. So <laughs> it's just crazy. And you combine that with like, let's say uh, the dance from Turkey or Turgey that uh, Murloc, holy smokes, it hits really hard. Now the other pet to briefly mention here, Singing Sunflower, you get her out in Hillsbred Foothills from playing uh, Plants and Zombies, a WoW version of Plants and Zombies. And it's really fun. It, it is. Uh, I was out there when I was getting my Safari achievement and I just saw it on the map and I was like, oh, I remember hearing about this. And I went, and it took about a half hour, but it was really cool. And also, if you listen, you can hear the singing sunflower just sometimes start singing, which is kind of cute and fun. Um, yeah, I like that. The other pet that I want to talk about, which is a wild caught pet, is the fell flame. Now, he has a, just that really hard hitting conflagrate uh, combined with you can either use flame breath, which is a DOT, or you can throw out immolate, which is a DOT, or you can throw out scorched earth and then have them burning all the time, but you not taking damage. So, just really great. Um, there's so many pets. Honestly, collect every single elemental pet and use it because they're so awesome and so fun. But those are the top ones I would snag. Anyway, that'll do it for elementals. Uh, if there's other pets that you think are better or that I missed, please let me know in the comments section below. If you found the video helpful, like rating is so appreciated. And I hope you have a great night. It was a pleasure gaming with you.